Ladies and gentlemen, baby faces, and all my True Heel Heats out there, I am Richie Moore, and this is True Heel Heat Wrestling. And before we get into today's countdown, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for the latest and greatest in wrestling news. And we are on our way to 1K. And today's top five countdown is brought to you by yours truly. No, not me. My man, you know who it is. SP, SP, SP3. Shout out to him for providing this list and check out all his articles that he writes for Sports Kita. With that being established, today is our top five matches from Wrestle Kingdom 2021. Number five. Oh, going on on day two, we had Taiji Ishimura versus Hiromu Tagahashi for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. These two have already set a high bar with previous meetings going at a breakneck speed and breathtaking counters one after another. Over the course of 25 minutes, these two really put on for the junior heavyweight division. Now, Taiji Ishimura is an IWGP junior heavyweight champion, but we all know that Hiromu Takahashi is really the star of the division, often getting the main, main event spot over the champion himself. And even though Taiji Ishimura has amazing offense and was laying his stuff in, it was ultimately Homoro Takahashi that pulled away, hitting a time bomb too for his fourth reign as the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. This match was rated four and a half stars. And coming in at number four was Shingo Takagi versus Jeff Cobb for the IWGP Never Open Weight Championship on night two. Now, there were tons of matches that as fans, as analysis, that we were all eagerly anticipating. And by far, this is easily one of the matches that we were all salivating over. The former Olympian put on the match of his career against Shingo Takagi. Shingo Takagi has been definitely one of the best wrestlers over the last 18 months. This championship has a hard-hitting history that goes back to stars like Ishii and Shibata, Minoru Mizuki. And even though Jeff Cobb put on the best match of his career, it was Shingo Takagi that won this match. And this hard-hitting affair is something that you totally need to go out of your way to see. With Shingo establishing that he is definitely one of the best in the world. This match had four and three-fourth quarter stars. Coming in at number three was Tensei Unido versus Kota Ibushi for the IWGP Intercontinental and Heavyweight Championship, the main event of night one. Listen, these two are just amazing. Let me just say that off rip. And actually, a couple of years ago, when they had the Super Show at Madison Square Garden, I was live in the audience to see them just compete for the IWGP Intercontinental Champion. It was just amazing, hard-hitting affair. And they actually used their previously established history of dangerous encounters, you know, dumping each other right on their head to build on this. But this match was actually different because the two men put on a superb storytelling based contest that built around very exciting sequences and close falls and also going off their previous history. But at the end, it was the Kamagoye for Kota Ibushi to establish the first step of him becoming a god in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And he also gained the respect of the former champion, with the former champion taking the championships, handing it to him, and giving a fist pound of respect. This match was four and three fourth quarter stars. Coming in in the number two spot is Kazuchika Okada versus Will Ospreay in a special singles match in a semi-main event of night one. The two former stable mates clash in an instant classic. Ospreay was really looking to establish himself in the heavyweight division with his transition he portrayed his former best friend and established his own stable being the leader of the empire this awe-inspiring unbelievable jaw-dropping 35-minute spectacle of professional wrestling though okada won with the rainmaker a move that we have not seen in almost a year will osprey definitely Establish himself as a top heavyweight contender and it would not be surprised to me within maybe the next year and a half to two years that Will Ospreay himself becomes the IWGP heavyweight champion. Okada was in a little bit of an unfamiliar spot. He's not in the 
in the heavyweight title picture, but he was in the semi-main. So it is familiar and unfamiliar at the same time. But this was an instant classic, as I said before. And it really established that even though he's known as the aerial assassin, Will Ospreay has a great ground, has a great ground game and often grounded Okada while still adding his aerial assassin arsenal in it. And he also established himself as a well-established heel, being able to use vers versatile moves opposed his usual uh, flashy high offensive moves. This match was five stars. In, in our number one position, the main event of night two, Kota Ibushi versus Switchblade Jay White for the IWGP Intercontinental and Heavyweight Championship. And despite going over 30 minutes in a previous night before, Ibushi proved his God status by having the longest main event in Wrestle Kingdom history. This match had everything fans could ask for. Drama, deep emotional storytelling, hella selling, character work, and just superb in-ring action. Switchblade worked the way a heel really should. He worked, oh my gosh, he just worked away a heel should on a top level main event stage just by hitting all the right moves at the right time. The facial expressions, the interference from Gato, he is just your heels, heel, heel. But even though as great as Switchblade was, he brought his A game. He had the bullet club in his corner. It was ultimately Kota Ibushi proving and doubling down on his God status by making his first defense and winning in the main event of night two. Honestly, this was number one for a reason. This is my personal favorite match. I always love when Kota Ibushi and Jay White go head to head because Jay White is just the archetypical heel and Kota Ibushi is an archetypical face. And when they clash, it is just amazing pro wrestling at its finest. When he hit that Kamigori and then we hit that one, two, three, you can feel the entire crowd's energy. And even though they can only clap and stomp their feet, you felt it down from the bottom of the feet to the top of the head, the absolute excitement for their new, well, not for their new, but for the leader uh, going forward in IW in, in, in New Japan, their IWGP Intercontinental and Heavyweight Champion, the God, Kota Ibushi. And of course, this match received five stars. Thank you for watching. And once again, like, share, and subscribe. This article was brought to you by the one, the only SP3. So check out all the great articles that he writes on Sports Kita. And also check out all re our reviews, throwbacks, and shows on True Hill Heat Wrestling. With that being said, I am Mr. Richie Moon. This has been the top five matches from Wrestle Kingdom 2021. And I will see you on the other side. Peace, love, and light.